So you picked up what you're thinking about picking up Phoenix 2 from Kane Song, and you want to know how to use it in your own production so you can get that sweet sauteed saturation in them. So you can go from sounding like this. Away, to sounding like this. Away, I can't from the mastermind of Dave Hill, Phoenix 2 recreates the Aria discrete style tape saturation. And by the end of this video, you'll know how to use Phoenix 2 in your own productions. But before we get started in the comments below, let me know what are some of your favorite tape saturation plugins that you use in your own productions. So in Pro Tools, I have an instance of Phoenix 2 pulled up and right out the gate, the user interface is very simplistic and easy to read. And it passes our one click check test, which means every parameter is one click away. Now let's go through the parameters of Phoenix 2 from left to right. First, we have our input trim, which allows us to go plus or negative 10 decibels. We have our process, which is how much are we processing the incoming signal? We have our output trim, which goes to negative six or six dB. And then we have our brightness. Gold is going to be flat across the frequency spectrum. Then we have opal, which is going to taper off some of that top end, which is going to give us a warmer sound. Then we have sapphire that's going to give us a little bit more top end processing. Then you have type, which is going to give us five different types of saturation we can choose from. By default, luminescent is already selected. And it's the most transparent of all the saturation types you can select. Next, we have iridescent, which is similar to luminescent, but has a fatter low end and mid range. Next up, we have Radiant, and Radiant's gonna add more compression style saturation as to the harmonic saturation that we've heard from Luminescent and Iridescent. Then we have Dark Essence, and that's gonna focus in on mid-range, similar to where a vocal would live, but a little bit wider. Then we have Luster, which has really subtle saturation, more so than the other four, when the process is low, but as you crank up your process, you're gonna get more into Dark Essence territory and really heavy saturation character. If you've gotten this far and enjoyed the video, can you do me a favor and boop that like button below for the almighty YouTube algorithm? I would greatly appreciate it. And now let's get into using Phoenix 2 in a production. So I have an instance of Phoenix 2 on every single bus in this mix, and I'm gonna focus on drums for right now. I think for the moment, I'm gonna just start hitting process and see what we come up with. So remember from er earlier, iridescent adds more low end and mid. I want that low for the kick, and I also want it for the uh, the toms in this track as well as the snare. So I think I'm gonna go with iridescent. I'm liking what gold is sounding like. Opal was too warm, and sapphire was too much top end, and the cymbals are already pretty loud. And I don't want to readjust the mid. I'm gonna play with the process a little bit more. All right, I like what that's doing. So now let's go to the bass. All right, same thing. I'm gonna just start playing with things and see what we come up with. Now, the reason I'm doing drums and bass is I want those to work as a partnership so that they're vibing together. just takes it to another level. I think I was liking what Iridescent was doing on this also. But this one, the Sapphire adding more of that bite in the bass guitar and the top end was sounding really good to me. The top end in Sapphire is complementing what Iridescent is doing with the low and the mid range of the bass. Cool, I like what that's doing. Let's go to guitars next. So what I'm listening for is I have drums and bass going and I want the guitars to sit in the mid range, but I also want that top end not to compete with the cymbals. Right now, Luster and Luminescent are the two I'm leaning towards. I'm trying to fine tune it right now. Luster just makes them sound wider. And if it sounds louder, even though the meters are at the same, whether it's bypassed or not, and I brought down the trim, it's because the harmonics that it's adding through the process is just making it sound harmonically louder within the mix. All 
All right, that's where I want to leave it for now. Next, let's go to post production. Because synths typically live in the mid-range, I'm going with Dark Essence just because I want it to focus in in that area where the synths are mostly going to live. Awesome. Next up is vocals. Alright, so now let's do a before and after with Phoenix 2. If you enjoyed this video, you'll like our other videos in this series on saturation plugins, so be sure to click on that playlist and I'll see you in the next video.